Hey, it's Peter here. Welcome to another daily vlog. Today, I've got the Lamborghini out because the roads are pretty clean, not too bad. So I figured I'd take the car out before we get hammered with another snowstorm. Okay, so today's video is a little bit different one and kind of a funny topic. And it's all about unsuspecting things that you will experience as a Lamborghini or exotic car owner. These are things that I never really um, thought about happening, but they do. So I wanna share them with you and uh, hopefully you get a kick out of them. So the first one is everyone assumes that you are the owner wherever you go. So for example, if you stop at like a Dunkin' Donuts or a coffee shop, or if you go out to dinner, right? You park your car in the parking lot, People are going to come into that parking lot, go into that establishment, and they're going to immediately start looking around for who the owner of the Lamborghini is or the Ferrari or whatever it is that you have. And almost every time they assume that you're the owner of the place. Just recently, Emily and I stopped at Dunkin' Donuts to grab you know, some coffee. We're inside uh, drinking the coffee and we were just laughing at some of the, the responses that were coming out of people when they were walking in. And the one that really made me crack up was a family came in and they walked in they're staring at the car and they say oh that must be the owners and little do they know that the owner of the lamborghini is actually just sitting right next to them at the table drinking coffee not a dunkin donuts franchise owner the next thing is that people will follow you wherever you go and you will be the topic of the day on their facebook news feed or their instagram doesn't matter where you take where i take this car there's well, whoever's behind me, I would say 90% of the time, they're following me around, they follow me around turns, they up in my blind spots, following, trying to see where I'm going to. I've had people follow me to my house before, right, just to see where I was going. So you're gonna have people following you and people taking pictures of you. It's not uncommon to be driving down the road and as cars are coming towards you, and especially at night, you can see it, you can see the flash on their iPhone just going as they're, they're taking pictures of you. So you better get used to getting your picture taken and having people follow you around. Number three is that you will always, almost always, have people waiting for you outside of your car when you're coming out of a store. Uh, if I take this car to you know just an average store, like if I take it to the grocery store, if I take it to um, you know a gas station, if I take it anywhere, a restaurant, um, usually when I come outside, there's people outside waiting to, you know, to talk to you about the car, to ask questions, things like that. Just recently, I took this, uh, my Lamborghini, to the grocery store to do some grocery shopping. And I uh, come outside, and there's a car full of teenagers just sitting next to it, smoking cherry cigars. And uh, all they want to do is just ask me about the car and hear it start up. So again, you have to get used to dealing with people if you're going to have an exotic car and people are always gonna be waiting for you to come out and get into your car. The next one is that you will develop fans and you'll also develop haters. And it's kind of funny, you can just be a regular old person, you buy one of these cars, you start posting photos on Instagram or on Facebook, you instantly, people start following you to see pictures of the car and seeing your travels with the car and things like that. Uh, it's kind of the same with me, I started posting videos on YouTube mainly because I enjoy making videos as part of what I do in my business. And uh, I also wanted to kind of turn this car into kind of like a little secondary revenue stream. So just by me posting these videos on YouTube and posting pictures on Facebook and on Instagram, um, I've built up quite a little following of people who just want to see pictures of the car and follow my experience with the car. So if you have one of these cars and you actually drive it, I'm not talking about those of you who leave it in the garage and look at it. If you actually drive it, and you know, if you put pictures on Instagram or, or social media, you will develop a fan base. It's kind of funny. And not every one of those fans are going to like you. You're gonna have people who just hate you because you have the car, but they love to hate you. They, they'll, they'll like all your pictures and then they'll leave like a stupid comment like, oh, it's a, you couldn't afford the Ferrari or, or something stupid like that. So you will have fans and you will have haters. Now, believe it or not, this next one is kind of annoying, right? I'm, kind of, I'm the type of person that doesn't mind talking to people, right? Especially owning this car, I've gotten used to talking to random people. But really, I've always been a shy person and never really went out of my way to talk to people. Again, owning this car has kind of forced me out of my shell and I talk to a lot of people now, especially in public. But one of the things that's kind of annoying, if you go out to dinner and you take this car out um, to a restaurant, let's say you park it outside, 
and somehow the wait staff or the management team at the restaurant finds out that your table is the one that showed up in the Lamborghini or whatever car you're in. Oftentimes we'll go out to eat with other friends with um, you know, exotic cars. Once the staff at the restaurant finds out that you're the table that owns all those cars, you get special treatment and it's not special treatment you know some people may enjoy it i think it's kind of annoying but if you're just sitting at the table trying to eat dinner have a conversation right and you can kind of you can definitely tell that they just realized oh that table is the one with the lamborghini let's go over there and try to uh, sweet talk them and make sure that they come back and that they're enjoying their dinner and ask if they need anything else so you get used to getting uh, waitresses and waiters and management staff coming over, checking on you, making sure your food's okay, and just they try to over deliver and over impress you. Again, some people may enjoy that, but it can be a little annoying, especially if you just want to be, you know, mind your own business and have dinner. But nonetheless, it is very entertaining. The next one is random congratulators. Now, this one is hilarious because you will have, once you buy a car like this, um, your whole time putting in the work to be able to afford it and buy it you're gonna have people who doubt you who just don't give a shit about whatever it is that you're doing you know say if you're starting a business a lot of people I'd say 90% of the people you you deal with or tell you're starting a business won't believe in you all right but once they see that you buy uh, something extravagant as a Lamborghini it's kind of like a symbol that you know of oh that person has made it right even though that's not always the case but when to the outside world people see you driving a Lamborghini and they know you from years back but they didn't give a shit about your hard work and your business that you were starting years ago now all of a sudden they care right you'll get these random congratulators who will message you on Facebook who will comment on your uh, your Instagram post right they'll follow you on social media and all of a sudden they're congratulating you and can't believe how much uh, hard work you've put in to achieve your goals and all this stuff and it's kind of funny um, not everyone is a random congratulator. I'm just saying there's people that you don't normally talk to, that you haven't talked to in years, even people who have doubted you in the past, all of a sudden are coming out of the woodwork to congratulate you and are proud of you. Now the next one happens all the time, and again, it's funny just like the others, I get enjoyment out of it. Um, since I've owned a Lamborghini, every time someone in my Facebook friends list sees something on the internet to do with Lamborghinis, whether it be a meme or a viral video or a viral video that's been circling around for the past seven years. They come across it, guess what? They're sharing it on your Facebook newsfeed. So every day, at least one person posts something Lamborghini related on my Facebook newsfeed. Sometimes there's days when there's several people that do it. Um, again, it's just one of those small things that you never really realized would happen. So if you buy a Ferrari F430, you better be ready for all random friends and friends you haven't even met yet to start posting all Ferrari related things on your Facebook wall when they come across it on the internet. The next one is random people unfriending you. So this one is something I definitely didn't expect. And it's not only happening to me, but it happens to, it's also happening to Emily. Um, she's my girlfriend, so a lot of the things I post on Facebook and Instagram and things like that, um, her friends also see as well. And we may even have some mutual friends. Well, we've both noticed since I bought this car and we've been driving around with it and going to events and you know, naturally posting on social media about it, not bragging at all, just sharing our experience like I'm doing with you here. Uh, we have noticed that just random people that we know have just unfriended us, like people who we were friends with, uh, for years just haven't talked to that much lately. They'll just randomly unfriend you I don't know what causes it. It could be that they just don't want to you know See that we're driving around in a Lamborghini or it could just be that they hate us now Or it could be that they just don't like us for some other reason But it's definitely something that we both have noticed since uh, I bought this car almost two years ago now So there you go just some unexpected things that you will experience when you own an exotic car. These are things that I never really thought about. Yes, I imagine driving the car, going to car shows and hearing the engine behind me and you know just driving the car, but there are a lot of other things that come with owning uh, a car like this that are going to happen in your life. Your life is going to change in many ways that you 
haven't even imagined yet. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this style of video, please let me know by pressing the like button below me here. I'll make more videos just like it. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.